Hey guys, how you doing? Kelly here. Let's get into it with the Kipper deck. I saw uh, like a little story earlier, so I wanted to see, okay. Oh, this is even better. We got community, which is a community of people. Like family could be even. Oh my gosh. Uh, marriage. Okay. An unexpected income. Wow. This is different. You could be expecting this. So maybe you, you know, know that this is coming in for you. You could be a high priestess or you could just, maybe you've been in touch with your person. Now we got great fortune, sudden wealth. Justice or judication, something with the legal system, sudden wealth. Someone could be in despair over this. We have an official person, so this is something to do with a... This could be a... Like a religious, like a powerful figure here. We got family room coming out. And pathway in the reverse. Which set tells me that somebody may have tried to do something to your job here. Or, I don't know. Hmm. Distant horizons, high honor, somebody's thinking about you. Courthouse, main mail, uh, again, a house, a uh, thief. Somebody could have stole the house from somebody, put them in poverty. This fa false person, message of concern. Oh, somebody got a message of concern about the lovers here. That's exactly why I love the Kipper. You could literally go through and or stopped a message from coming into you. But now this person could be in bad health. So this could be third parties. On both ends, uh, parent, ex-husband, baby daddy. And now there's like a journey together, travel. So we have wealthy men. There could have been an actual death here with the coffin coming out. And there's, uh, or another thing I'm getting, and I, I don't ever think like this, but the way it's coming out, this wealthy man could be either doing something with your occupation with you or you may not have to work anymore. He may say you don't have to work anymore. Um, okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune change. So there's change on the horizon. We got privilege lady, courtship, main female, Mature man. Somebody is feeling imprisoned over this or, you know, like in a mental prison or an actual prison. I don't know. Something could have happened. This could be something to do with a, a child or children. It doesn't have to be when that child comes out. It also could be somebody who was immature or something like that at the time. And then we got toil and labor, which is, again, about your occupation gift from a mature woman I don't even know if I'm going to record this cuz I don't unless I pull the yeah, let me just pull a couple tarot cards. I'll make this short and sweet because this sounds like somebody wants to, to to me, that story sounds like somebody wanted to maybe court you or marry you or and somebody didn't want it. So somebody tried to stop it or somebody, somebody could have lied on you at your job because that's what was coming out too. I don't know. Let's see. I don't like to say things that are, look at, we got four wands here. That's soulmates. So sometimes when you have a powerful, when, you know, people get jealous when you actually have a good 
relationship or that you know these this this could be past third parties that were messing around or whatever with you never know we have the high priestess coming out so you probably already know if this is your story or that you may know that this for that this person's your soulmate and may be coming coming in or coming back. I want to say coming back with the two of swords. This is like an injustice, so that could have been a breakup. Uh, that could have been somebody who was really put into a spot. But also on this card, right? And now, to me, this is resonating with that. Somebody definitely was not happy. But look at there's a, a woman here, right? But there's two birds up there. So there's somebody was in your business watching the relationship and uh, whatever. But now we got the chariot moving very quickly to something could be happening happening in July, but that's Cancer, July, August, but that's Cancer, um, just the month of Cancer. This is catapulting something quickly. So maybe maybe you're waiting. My nose is itchy too. I usually don't get that, but it and it's a it's not. A normal itch so <laughs> we got a queen of cups here you are this person she loves you I'm getting very balanced beautiful could have long hair the color blue could be significant and seahorse we have a knight of cups this is a, there's a female on this knight of cups but that's because somebody is like uh, balancing their masculine and feminine, maybe coming, maybe this King of Wands is coming in. Fiery, sexy, intuitive, very sexy, uh, like powerful too. Smart. Okay. That could be a Leo or are you tame to be. Both of you could have, you know, got became stronger through this also this is this is a good card to get leo that's also july august um you know if you're looking for time frames or whatever look at ten of cups ten of cups and the friggin four of wands who's the lucky person all right so i'm not really sure i don't want you to be confused over this story that the kipper uh, brought out, but somebody could have been angry here about this, you know what I mean? And if it, and if that they weren't, and you didn't have an injustice or whatever, just take what resonates and, you know, don't, don't make it fit. And like, I got, I, I used to get stressed out when, I'm not gonna lie, when I first started reading them, uh, listening to tarot, because I, first off, I, I never really listened to tarot until like a year or so ago. I used to get really confused, but then I started figuring it out. I'm like, oh, half of the time, they're picking up your person's energy. So they're talking about, and you're like, oh, yeah, 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 this is, and it's really them, you know, or vice versa. That's why they say switch the roles. Th this uh, Queen of Cups could be a male. You know, this King of Wands could be a female. That That's what I mean, that the, they say gender doesn't really matter in tarot, but yes, it does. Because there's a there's a ten of cups. So the, what's a ten of cups? That's two people in love. That's my take on it. Please, I don't want to get in trouble for thinking that way. Okay, someone can be thinking very heavily about you. And, in um, yeah, you, like, maybe something happened. This is, I think this is somebody just thinking about you and thinking about this. Because obviously there is a waiting, if or there was a waiting if the chariot card is here. But look at Eight of Wands as I'm saying that. That's quick. Wow, my ear's ringing too because it was in there and I didn't even know. This is something happening very quickly with these two together. Trust me. I'm thinking a month or two, but I have no clue of your story. I do know that this you could be you could have been waiting. Because this woman has super long hair, so that's, you know, like, uh, trying to portray that she's been waiting a long time. But look at, she's balanced up there. But this is about travel, too. And not just vacation travel. Somebody could be 
coming towards you, traveling towards you. Wow, these are good cards. This is a good... Look, at we got the King of Cups in the female version here. The Tower. Okay, this is... The Nine of Swords is healing after a tough time. After a breakup, after something that really, you know, like a Tower moment is something that happened really unexpectedly. So, you know... This tower is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this tower may be this four of wands or this tower could have already happened, you know, and that with this card coming out, it it could be also saying don't think about what happened in the past, especially if you are with this coming in. I know it's hard to stop thinking about the past and things that happened, but that's why everywhere you see forgiving and learning and this is, this doesn't just happen to you. Think about it. This happens to a whole collective of people. A million people at once are listening to one tarot reading, right? And they're all resonating with the reading because it happens to a collective of people because we're Taurus we're Virgo, you know what I mean? Like, do you kind of get it? Like, once I started thinking of it that way, I'm like, I remember somebody, my daughter, saying to me, how do you know the reading's for you, though? How do you know the reading is for you? And I'm like, well, because she didn't understand that. And once I said, well, you do know that, like, a million people or 400,000 people can be going through this same breakup, not exactly the same, but pretty much. Because this is a cycle of life, you know what I mean? So anyways, it's a, I don't know what that where I just was going with that. So we got the Nine of Swords. That's all about healing and uh, it could also be, this could also be somebody is, uh, Worried about how they look or could be embarrassed or all eyes on me type thing, you know. But that's that's before the tower. That could be how you felt with this, you know what I mean? And yeah, like the ten of swords because the nine of swords and the ten of swords. All right, so. I would have liked to see it go down ten, nine. But... It's okay. It's okay. Okay, yeah, there was this this two of wands with somebody who couldn't really decide or they were stuck in the middle. Just, uh, you know, look at... But with this two of wands, you're sitting there looking, looking out, holding the world in your hand, right? So this person definitely has thought he was thinking about this probably, but couldn't make the decision at the time. Maybe it wasn't the time. There's a time for everything, you know. We got a page of wands. Somebody could have been in this page of wands energy when they couldn't make a decision. Like, this page of wands to me is very similar to the knight of wands. And, but look, we have four protection, four pentacles, um... Somebody could have been holding back a house. This woman's holding a house. Or maybe this affected your living situation. Something like that. You know what I mean? But the what did I hear somebody say the other day? That the Four of Pentacles is the death card. Now, I've never heard that. I've never heard that. But somebody could have also been holding back from you in the past. I was really shocked when I heard that the other day. I've never heard that. I've been listening for over a year. We have Virgo energy starting over from ground zero, or you are a powerful manifester. I don't see that anybody would could have been doing magic, but if they were, it caused you this ten and nine of swords. And no, no, I don't see it. This is starting from ground zero, restarting, fixing things, working on things. Making it work because there's a lot of love here. This okay, there's a lot of love here with this four of wands and this knight of cups could be coming in as a knight. 
I don't see any kings here, but I also can, okay. Queen of Swords, pretty funny. This came out in another reading. This is just, I'm just going to say this because I never really talk about, I don't know nothing about even how to do a spell. I wouldn't even have the first clue, but Queen of Swords here with the telescope, magic, holding back a house, and this is a rival. This is a rival sometimes. After I started looking at it, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, this is at the bottom of the deck, but this could have happened. This could have happened to somebody. This could be somebody's story because the way this came out, you know, this Queen of Swords could have been doing magic or uh, holding back a house from your person, something like that. You never, you know what I mean? Just and if that's not your story, just let it, let it fly. If it don't apply, let it fly <laughs> because this Four of Wands is coming in. Um, you know, it's going to be difficult, but. My hope would be not to even bring up the past at all and just move forward. I know that's very tough to, sometimes, especially for me. I'm a Taurus. I like to know everything, and I like to fix everything. Uh, but in this situation, I trusted God. In my situation, I should say, I trusted God. I'm going to end this, by the way. I just started talking. Um, I, I trusted God, and I really, for the first time in my life, trusted 100%, like left it in his hands. I was at that point, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it myself. And that seemed to really work. If that's what manifesting is, you know, that that's what I do. I I set an intention, you know, I need a new car, God. I, my car's a piece of crap. And, and I just hope for the best. That's what manifesting is, thinking or thinking that you already have it. Okay. One more thing. Let's ask a question, okay, about this or something you're wondering about. And let's see what comes out with the yes, no coin. This is an astrology um, pendulum, pendulum, kind of. All right. So think about your person. Take a breath. And let's see. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. They call me Mellow Yellow. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it, yeah, it's weird. It was weird, but I have a feeling it's going to resonate for, with somebody. And if it doesn't, and you know that you got a four of wands coming in, if that, that was all it was, you know, that you got that news, don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. I will see you on the next one. Have a great night.